Good evening. Authorities have taken a drastic step to prevent a terror attack at Adelaide Oval, placing concrete crash barriers around the stadium. The measure is aimed at preventing strikes like those in Germany and France, where trucks were driven into crowds, claiming dozens of lives. An extra line of defence in the event of a terror attack. The threat that we've engaged with Adelaide Oval is, is specifically in relation to a hostile vehicle attack. Concrete barriers have been strategically placed outside Adelaide Oval in time for tonight's Big Bash cricket match to protect crowds from deadly attacks like those seen in Nice earlier this year and again in Berlin where a truck was deliberately driven into innocent revellers. Certainly uh, what happened in Nice in July and also what we've seen uh, over the past few days, um, there are a range of ways um, that uh, we can uh, harden or increase the security of these sorts of precincts. The barriers are one of many new anti-terror measures to be implemented at the Oval following a comprehensive security review by stadium management, the state government and police. And they'll make way for a more aesthetic permanent solution early next year which will be uh, large uh, seating type structures uh, made out of concrete, perhaps also with some uh, planters. But we want to have the safety measures put in place in a way that doesn't actually impinge on patron enjoyment. Police insist there's no specific threat to Adelaide Oval and patrons should be aware, not alarmed. We don't want people to be worried, we want people to be reassured that we're actually proactively working to do something to reduce the threat. And we go live now to Eddie Godfrey. Eddie, what can cricket fans expect as they enter the ground for tonight's Strikers match? Well, there are a, no a number of other measures in place, Kate, here at the Oval that the crowd will notice, and we're expecting a big one in excess of 40,000 people for tonight's match. The first thing they'll see, apart from the concrete barriers, uh, the bag checks at the gate, which have become commonplace in recent months. There are also extra security guards and police patrolling the stadium. There are also some other measures going on behind the scenes that authorities won't speak about. We spoke with some people as they arrived here a short time ago. Here's what they had to say about the barriers. I think it's an important initiative to protect the public of South Australia so we can enjoy events like this. You can never be yeah. too careful. I mean, you never know what's going to happen these days. It suddenly hits home, the world we live in today. Having been overseas and seen stuff overseas, um, you don't realise that, yeah, Adelaide could be the next place. The national terror threat remains unchanged. It remains at probable, which is the third highest out of five levels. But you'd expect we'd only see more precautionary measures like these barriers in place as we move forward, Kate. Thank you, Eddie.